What's up, guys? How are we doing? I know. I look like I'm 12 again. <laughs> How quickly did you do it? Right away. Right? Yeah, right away. That night? Yeah. Literally, as soon as I got home. That was, that was the first thing I did. Uh, only a few months here. How, how did you feel? Uh, how did you feel in the room and on the ice, all that? Yeah, you know what? I mean, I know I was only here for 20 regular season games and obviously like 20 playoff games, but felt uh, felt a lot longer than that. I uh, feel very, very fortunate to, to have the chance to come in and be part of this group, um, especially um, in, in a run like this. It was it was something that I'll never forget and uh, very grateful to be a part of. Um, it's it's really unfortunate how it ended. I think we all wish we were still playing, obviously. Um, but just goes to show you why that's the hardest trophy in, in sports to win. Um, it's very, very difficult to do. And I thought we had the group to do it. But um, you know what? I think we'll all kind of come out the other end a little bit stronger from this. And um, who knows what the future has in store, but um, this group has a very, very bright future ahead. You've bounced around a lot. Just how do you handle unrestricted free agency going into the summer now? Um, you know what? I think uh, going into to this summer, it's one of those things that um, I've, I've been uh, kind of one of those people that have been signing shorter term deals, which uh, gives you opportunity to move around a little bit the deadline here and there. So maybe you get some more security and stability would be would be something that I'm looking to do and um, listen I, I hope that's here I really do I, I love playing in Dallas and I love the group of guys in that locker room coaching staff was was fantastic training staff was great and management was great too and I mean you guys are awesome as well so great place to live um, nothing but great things to say about Dallas and really enjoyed my time here so far how'd you like some of the young players you got to play with Wyatt uh, uh, I think uh, Thomas Harley came up and played yeah. very well, and then even guys like uh, Robertson just get to see him up close and personal for. Yeah, for it's uh, again, it, it, it hurts to even talk about it because <laughs> it just it, the, the the team is, is such a special group of guys, and um, everyone says that, but uh, I've never been a part of a team, and I've been a part of a lot of teams um, that has such an incredible mix of, of younger and older guys. I mean, when you have one night your best player is Joe Pavelski. Uh, who's 38 years old, and then the next night you get someone that's white, like White Johnson, that's 19, 20 years old. It, it's that swing is just it's so dramatic, and it's such a tough find, uh, tough uh, blend to find. So um, it speaks volumes to the work that uh, that Jim Nill's done and with his team and bringing in all these different guys. And um, it's how you're always in the mix, right? Um, seeing guys like Robo, Miro, Rupe, um, kind of up close and personal every single night. That was that was a treat for sure. Uh, getting to play with those guys was, was special, and um, obviously someone like like Jamie Benn or, or, or Joe Pavelski, uh, Ryan Suter. I mean, guys that have been around the league for a long, long time. Um, that's stuff that uh, you cherish for a long, long time. And um, I mean, hey, some of those names are going to be in the Hall of Fame one day, and, and it's a treat and an absolute privilege to play with them. You uh, you talk about the term uh, for your for your contract. Just you're also 28. You you're you know going to be one of one of the people in demand. Just how do you? Way the winning part of it as well as you know a franchise that might be on the come up uh, yeah. versus a franchise that's established how do you look at that yeah you know what I haven't really started to think about it yet I'm still dissecting the the, the loss <laughs> um, and obviously that that's still staying it's going to sting all summer uh, until we start playing again next year so haven't really got too far out of myself to think about that but no like I said it's uh hopefully there's other opportunities out there um I mean, wherever that is, and, and I'm hoping one of them is going to be staying here. Um, that would obviously be something that I would love to do. Winning a Stanley Cup is, is, is something that we all dream of, and um, it's not easy to do, and it, it takes a, a real special group to do that. And, and like I said earlier, I believe that this group is, is right there. Um, so, I mean, hey, whatever whatever happens, happens. But, uh, no, I, I'm going to look at everything, and uh, obviously my agent's going to be a big part of those conversations, but uh, try to do all the work necessary to make his job as easy as possible. But, uh, no, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I guess July 1, that's when crazy is, right? So um, crazy to think that's only a month away, but uh, we'll see. Is your dad going to keep bringing Ric Flair and Mike Tyson back to more games or what? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Um, I think that was pretty cool, though. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun. Mike, when Mike Tyson comes to your game, uh, arguably one of the toughest human beings, if not the toughest all time. It's pretty pretty special. So wearing your jersey too, and Ric Flair was was awesome as well. So um, appreciate those guys' support, and um, hopefully next year, um, if, if I'm back in Dallas, we'll, we'll have another run, and they can come cheer the boys on again. Was this play? I was about to say they not only showed up, they were wearing number 18. So. Yeah, look good on them, eh? <laughs>
uh, it was, that was special for sure. Was this playoff run just a testament to how difficult it is to win a Stanley Cup ultimately? Because it seems like you guys obviously have a lot of belief that yeah, you yeah. I, honestly, I mean, we were the final three, I got final four, I guess, but we were one of the last three teams standing. And um, I mean, a lot of credit to Vegas; they they, they played very good. Um, obviously, a team that's very deep. Um, they were were really dialed in with certain details that um, gave us a bit of a hard time. They blocked a lot of shots, um, didn't give us much. Um, and, and their goalie played great too. So um, you got to tip their cap to them, wish them the best. But uh, it's 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 tough when when you when you do believe that you can win a Stanley Cup, and, and I honestly genuinely do believe that that we had the group to do that this year. But obviously we we, we came up short, and um, I mean we're gonna we're gonna have to let that soak in. And and I think that's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good thing in the long run because a lot of these young guys too, it's gonna it's gonna show them how hard it is, and it's gonna keep them hungry or keep the older guys hungry, and, and everyone's gonna know that we were so, so close, but we got to get back next year. And uh, I think that's something that, as much as it sucks right now, it's going to I mean, pay off uh, in, in a big, big way next year. Thanks. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for everything.